Oh, okay. Hello? Oh, that was, all right. So I have a question. That was a great hello. Um, hello. Hello. So hypothetically speaking, let's say Kavanaugh gets proven innocent or whatever, right? No, no. You can't be proven innocent. I, I know. We, I, I agree with that. I do agree you are innocent until proven guilty, but I'm just, you know what I'm saying, right? right. Exonerated? Yeah, exonerated. Yes, that's the word. So several statements that Kavanaugh has made, some of his classmates have disagreed with, said he was lying about it. Other statements are, contra are being contradicted by news stories that are coming out. Some say that he has perjured himself um, while he's under oath on the bar. Not on the bar, but Can you give the us committee. the statements? I can pull out my phone and like. No, come on, you've just been in line for 20 minutes. You don't have the statement? Yeah, I here, on here's my... one thing I do want to say though. Well, well, he likes beer. Guys, Brett Kavanaugh likes beer, all right? Well, for example. Um, was it one for, beer or two beers? Oh, now he's perjured himself, right? It was two beers he had that night, not for, one beer. This is the most ridiculous thing that we're even talking about this, but go on, I'm sorry. So, for example, they asked him when he first heard about the Ramirez case. There have been text messages that have come out saying that he and his team looked into refuting those allegations as early as July, which was before the story even broke out. I think I have read every single second of coverage of the Kavanaugh hearing, and I've never heard that once. So what, what are you reading? Well, it's let's, from this New York Times uh, I, article. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what, do we, what is the New York Times the... <laughs> they also ran an article saying that he threw ice at people. I mean, well, I here, struggle. Here's the one broader point I want to make. He, I, I firmly believe he did not sexually assault Dr. Ford. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't sexually assault Dr. Ford. But, let's look at the critique of his drinking and all this sort of stuff. I'm sure no one here has ever drank to excess, so we can all excuse <laughs> ourselves from that. But isn't what has made this country so exceptional and the Judeo-Christian ethic is not who I was, but who I am. How far I have come, where you're able to say, boy, that's not who I am today, but I've come a long way, that I've made a series of decades of good choices, of, of behaving well and treating women with empowerment. And what I see from the left is a virtue signaling, moral superiority complex, where they say, you have no room for character development whatsoever throughout your life that who you were when you're 15 years old or 18 years old is somehow the same person you are when you're 52. And what I believe, when I believe in the power of the individual, I say, hold on a second, God forbid anyone brings up what I did when I was 15. I can't remember what I did when I was 15. And I think everyone in this room did something you might have been ashamed of once or twice in your life that you don't want to have happen in front of a Senate Judiciary Committee. But what I do know is this, people act in patterns. And there is no pattern of behavior for Judge Kavanaugh. It's the opposite. You have a hundred women saying that he acted what, in unbelievable conduct. Let me finish really quick. You see in the Clinton impeachment, the Bush White House, D.C. Circuit Court, court judge, no accusations. But do you know who I do believe? Because there's a pattern. I believe Paula Jones and Juanita Broderick and Kathleen Willey because there's a pattern of behavior there. So, and the left is silent for those victims because the victims don't matter to the left. The politicization of it does. So I wasn't necessarily referencing the accusations. I was referencing that. So my question is, if he did indeed perjure himself, would you still support um, his confirmation if he did indeed commit perjury? I don't believe that he committed perjury whatsoever. I, and I'm telling you, like, I've, when I say that I've been obsessed with getting Brett it's Kavanaugh confirmed. It's a ridiculous confirmed, hypothetical. Though. Like, I know the New York Times is, like, saying they're, they're really digging here because they're not journalists, they're activists. Um, and they're trying to help make sure he's not confirmed. But if he lied on the stand, and we're not talking about something as ridiculous as whether it was one beer or two, um, then if, if, if he willingly and openly lied about something that was serious, of course I, I would say that he has an issue. But I don't believe that to be the case whatsoever. I think and, it's just the New York Times being the New York Times. You want to talk about perjury. We have evidence that Dr. Ford perjured herself. Do you believe she should go to prison? Want me to give you the she evidence? She 100% should be in prison. She said Lock that she up. never coached anyone through a polygraph. Her ex-boyfriend came out yesterday and says that she did it a lot and she did it to a specific incident. That's perjury. She put her in prison? She said she was afraid of flying. Apparently she was Yeah, she went to the entire around, South Pacific. Right, and, and was she's flying afraid around they, a propeller vent in Hawaii. Fiji you and know, Hawaii and Taiwan. So I'm she's, like, she's a liar. I mean, she, as soon as she, I saw her, she just looked, the entire testimony to me just looked like she was lying and being coached and was dishonest. Um, and I really do hope that they make an example out of her and that she ends up behind bars, preferably in a cell next to Hillary. So, 
One, one last question. Um, am I done? Or one last question. You got one more question. Like, so, do you think he should be confirmed right now, or should we wait until now. last week? Now, last week. Call so, the vote. I mean, that was it. That was Thank you.